Hello again, Conte. Uh, the patrons decided that I would be using Hunting Horn for my next matchup, and so that is what I'm doing, even though I basically begged them not to. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, it was It's a fun matchup, actually, and I, Hunting Horn is a weapon that I know how to play. Uh, you will notice that this video is a little bit longer than some other ones, um, and that is partially because I'm not that great with Horn, and partially because it's not as powerful a weapon as some of the others. Don't kill me, Deus. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty standard start here. We're just going to buff up and stuff. Um, I'm using Safi. I'll, I'll talk about the full set at the end of the video, but yeah, I'm just running a very typical elemental horn set. I'm using the attack melody because I don't really need the elemental buff and I think I'm just talking to chat here. Oh, just an FYI, I, I record, I've been recording these live on my stream, so you should check me out on either Twitch or YouTube. But uh, yeah, I'm putting on my Rocksteady Mental so I can do my pretty standard opener. And it's a uh, elemental horn, so I'm going to need sharpness. I'm uh, going to be spamming the spin to win move a lot, which eats through sharpness quite quickly. So I have a uh, protective polish on my set. No clue if uh, 3T or 3 Safi would be better, but this just seemed a little bit more convenient to put together. I actually think that this was kind of a, a set that I just threw together based off of one of my other weapon sets. So yeah, it might not be particularly optimized or anything, but it's okay. It's really just the playstyle that you need to be interested in and, and then the sets you can find from the other runners. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, pretty standard, just opening. Now throughout this hunt, you're going to see me needing to play um, either rebuff up my attack songs or play Melody Extend. That's the nice thing about, um, and you can see me sort of queuing them up. But uh, yeah, that's the thing I like. Oh, this is a good opening, by the way. you got to be careful uh, that if you don't have a Safi healing proc and you don't have a Rock Steady Mantle on, that Ice Breath can actually do you quite a number on you. And so that's the reason you'll see me do the side swing to try and uh, get some of my health back so I don't die in one hit from it. That's quite a risky one. Uh, if you don't have much Ice Breath on the set, or you don't have as much defense, uh, I would maybe recommend not going for that one if, you're, if you find it kills you quite a bit. But uh, yeah, I've got Rock Steady, so I'm kind of just uh, wailing away on its head without much of a care in the world. Uh, yeah, so buff, uh, queuing up the songs frequently is probably the thing I struggle with the most. Again, I don't play much horn. It's been a long time since I played it. I used to play it a lot, but um, yeah, it can be quite difficult for me to remember to play things like Attack Up, so you'll see the song expire fairly often. Um, so I am sorry about that, and a better player with horn will do better than me. But I am trying to get kills with every single weapon, decent kills with every single weapon, so uh, uh, got, got a soldier through it. I'm just dreading when Switch X comes to fruition. Um, yeah, Ice, I think, is nicer, but I'm not 100% sure. This is just what it was at the time. Um, you're gonna have to deal with both of them regardless. They both have different openings, but they're both fairly nice. Fire Mod has that big explosive dragon breath, and Ice Mod has the frost breath. Um, either are basically the same. It's just dodging the fire breath can be a bit harder, but the openings are a little bit um, nicer. But uh, yeah, it's there's not a huge amount to talk about here for the playstyle. It's elemental, so if you're struggling to uh, break the elemental DPS threshold. Uh, make sure to spam the spin move more than I am. Uh, currently, I'm using a lot of like backswings and stuff, and I'm going for the head a lot. But the arms take, uh, they have better elemental hit zones. Um, and so actually, if you focus, like for example, um, on these kind of openings, well, obviously not this opening, because this is an elemental top, but you get the idea. Uh, whenever you get openings that I've been going for the head on, if you go for the front arms or even the back legs um, with the spin move, you'll build up a lot more elemental damage. That said, you've seen how quickly I was able to knock it out of... Uh, uh, out of his uh, his elemental DPS check, I was quickly able to get the topple. So you really shouldn't have any issue if you run a similar set to me. Even if you have a much less elementally focused horn, uh, or a much less elementally sort of based set, you'll have more than enough time uh, to reach the DPS threshold. It won't be difficult at all. So yeah, this is what I mean. You see, I, my rock study ran out and I missed that. And that basically took me from full health at health boost, I think 2 or 3, all the way down to practically 0 health. So that's an opening that you definitely need to be careful of. Um, it's not one that you can take without being a little bit risky. Like here, for example, if I don't think I'm going to be able to reach him for like a, a forward uh, Y or a idle side swing, I, I don't even go for op that opening, to be honest with you. Hey, I'm using these smoke bombs to try and get it to land. Um, this is kind of the strat that I've gone for in general now. You see it's D in rage, so I maybe could have saved this and just flinch at it, but it's no big deal either way, to be honest with you. Um, bring smoke, bring the combines for more, in my opinion, and then use the opportunity to buff up. If you're using bow, for example, you might want to dash juice there. But uh, yeah, you have to let it do one attack while it's flying before throwing smoke bombs. Otherwise, it will just fly straight back into the air after uh, it comes down or so, I've been told. Uh, you see me... Now, I've talked about this in my other runs. But the reason you see me immediately trying to do this claw swipe thing or the uh, or the flint shots, even though that wasn't going to lead anywhere, is because I want to send it into rage mode. Um, yeah, rage mode, if you want away, gives you a 20% damage boost, uh, which makes the hunts a lot quicker. Uh, yeah, and if you aren't aware already that the initial so he has a couple of different dragon phase attacks those pulses He has the flying one and he has two grounded ones from what I can tell the one where he initially transitions into dragon phase and the one that he Does while he's already in dragon mode um, The former has is really safe near the head 
the latter you need to iframe because it has a much wider range but the tail is just for the front leg sort of shifting forwards after they've landed um hopefully you just watch it a couple of times and you'll see um but uh, yeah so we've kind of got everything we need to here we're playing hunting horn and focusing the head so the horn break isn't going to be an issue we got that really quickly and the elemental topple you saw came really early and it really wasn't difficult to get and again you have ways to get more elemental damage uh, the other thing is uh, even though i'm using safi i'm not running resentment i'm running health augment and that's because this is a fight that i'm not comfortable with especially with this matchup uh, enough to just run pure resentment um, and like for example that opening where he does the ice breath if you don't have health augment you wouldn't be able to take advantage of that um, and so you might be you might sort of get a better uh, run if you do run resentment but it'll be a lot riskier and a lot more inconsistent and so obviously that's something that you can decide to do if you want to um, you see me rebuffing up a little bit because I accidentally let my attack song expire. I kind of got lazy here um, and just hoped it didn't hit me. Uh, I would definitely recommend picking a much safer opening. Now he's back in the air again. Uh, I could use more smoke bombs, but I think at this point I wasn't actually bringing the combines for more. So I just kind of got to deal with it. My fire, I take a lot more fire damage uh, with this set, I believe, because of my resistances. So you see that I, I just don't even bother going for a punish there. I just immediately try to heal. Now... There are a few openings with the flying attack. If you have your weapon out, that three slam where he does the feint is really nice for a backswing. Uh, if not, then it's nice for a sort of a, un a forward unsheath. Uh, he's landed. He'll go back in the air later in this hunt, hopefully, and I can show you a couple more openings. There are a few nice opportunities to snipe with a backswing. It's not super easy to do, but uh, but it it's quite rewarding, even if it doesn't really guarantee uh, uh, drops or anything like that. I'm really frustrated that staggering him in the air doesn't topple him, uh, except for the elemental one, but what can you do? This is my pretty standard Klagger uh, punish. I'm not, by the way, if you aren't aware, you probably noticed by now, but I'm not tenderizing at all. And that is because I hate the tenderizing mechanic. And so I'm running sets that reach 100 affinity without it. Um, they're not necessarily ideal. Probably better DPS to just deal with the tenderizing. But uh, I prefer playing this way. So look, you see, he lands his legs. And then a little bit afterwards, he does a little flinch as he moves them forwards. And that's when you need to roll roughly. If you're running Safi, you'll have a bunch of evasion windows. So you shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Here I'm playing a little bit aggressively. Oh, and here's another, that opening again that I've been talking about. I always try to land the side swing. Um, not only does it let me queue up uh, the Echo Waves note song, oops, um, but it also gives me a little bit of health uh, regen, just enough basically to make it so that I don't die from that uh, that move. And now you're seeing me look around for stones because I kind of want to try and get a flint shot off. I'm not 100% sure if I actually do it. Uh, again, the reason I'm so interested in getting these flint shots off whenever I get a chance is because I want him enraged. Um, yeah, I think I've talked about this a few times now over the course of these videos. That 20% modifier makes an enormous difference. Um, I don't know why I keep going for flint shots when I could just do the three claw swipes. I think because of how inconsistent this map is, I'm kind of just <laughs> flint shotting, throwing them out then hoping it works. But um, yeah, I should probably just do the three. So look, feet on the ground, a little bit of a delay, his legs move a tiny bit and then and then you go from there. Uh, you can see I've not really been being good about uh, playing Melody Extend. Uh, generally though, if you're going to play Melody Extend, you might as well queue up Attack Up. But yeah, here's that same opening again. You can see I really rely on the health regen there to survive. If I didn't have that, I would be dead big time. Um, this move over here where he lands his head in the air, you can queue up a uh, an Echo Waves note, uh, whatever it is, the spin move. Um, but I found it to just be a little bit easier if I'm not in a good position to, to punish it with just normal swings. So we managed to reach the DPS threshold for the Nova, very standard stuff. Now we're going to rebuff and all that, uh, resharpen. Um, I think I reached it once or twice, so you can see it didn't do that much damage. Maybe only once, I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's a nice chance to replay your songs as well, to be honest. Um, I think I get really lucky here. <laughs> do I get the stagger? Yeah, I, I don't know what I was, I was kind of freestyling. I accidentally had those songs lined up. I'm not a huge fan of the impact song, to be honest with you. Uh, it's probably better DPS, but the spin move is already so good, especially because we're running a sort of elemental playstyle, that I'm not really interested in getting a, a huge number of those uh, impact songs lined up for the openings. Um, I mostly just spam the spin move and, and hope for the best. Now, hey, you can see I'm playing it very risky. I didn't have much health to start with there, and I got within a, sort of an inch of death. Obviously, if you're doing this run, I would definitely not recommend you sort of emulate that. You should definitely play it a bit safer and heal and... and uh, and maybe not stand in the uh, in the belly of the beast there in the eye of the storm because it is not safe. Um, either that or maybe run some ice res and then you'll be fine. Uh, this is a much nicer opening. And you'll probably have noticed by now that I think I'm running uh, Blight Res on this set. I could probably go for Coalescence. Uh, the 12 Raw is really nice, but I, I vaguely remember having difficulty fitting in 
Horn Maestro on the set and Coalescence. And so in the end, I think I decided to uh, max out Blight Rift so I didn't have to deal with all of that. Now, I do want to repeat, I am not the great base, uh, the best with Hunting Horn. Like, there are definitely better players with Hunting Horn than me. And if they have openings or punishes that seem better than mine, you should definitely um, heed their advice more than mine. This is just kind of how I handle the fight. I got the fight down in 30 minutes after a few attempts. And to be honest with you, I kind of got sick of the matchup, so I didn't want to do it anymore. I was already getting kind of frustrated. You can't hear the stream. I told you this is recorded live on stream. You can't hear the uh, the commentary because it's just uh, this is just a PS4 recording. But yeah, I was getting extremely frustrated by the end of this. The stream was becoming quite difficult to watch. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just queue up your melody extends. They're not difficult to do if you've got this uh, this nice horn with the attack melody four on it. Um, it's a, a swing into a side swing into a big swing again. Uh, very easy to do with the uh, with the double note. Um, and then I think it gives you like 30 seconds on attack up extended. Uh, it will run out from time to time as you can see I've got it. If you're struggling to get uh, these songs off, instead of playing uh, attack up large and then encoring it, consider queuing it up twice in a row and then just playing it using the queue. Uh, it can be a little bit slower to get queued up, but it's a little bit easier to actually get the buff off without uh, Alatrion interrupting you. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my top tip for the day. Um, take whatever opportunities you can to buff up to sharpen and stuff. Uh, the drop between white and blue sharpness is really noticeable with this playstyle. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, you can see I got a little bit lucky with the opening there. Uh, <laughs> with the elemental topper. But that's why we go for those things. That's why we pick at the feet. Um, yeah, it's not easy to consistently get that kind of thing off. But I've shown you a couple of the openings while he's in the air. A lot of his moves, uh, he has a little bit of a feint or a little bit of a sort of he flips around and you see he exposes his head for a second. Um, the way the backswing works means that that's actually really nice to, uh, to punish with with just a quick backswing. And you saw there again, by the way, the... Uh, the initial transition into dragon mode really doesn't have much of a hitbox on that dragon attack. Um, yeah, I could have shielded, I could have shielded and healed there. And if you were playing yourself, I might recommend it. But because I knew I was fairly close to uh, the Safi healing threshold, I thought I might as well go for it. Um, but uh, yeah, it's hunting horns. So I don't think you need much advice on breaking the horns. It's really just a case of doing what you always do and going for the head. Um, yeah, not a huge amount to say here, to be honest. I don't play many encores or... or um, or, or the Echo Note songs, like the Impact song or anything like that. Uh, maybe I can sort of talk about a couple of the openings that I do for the air hair. Uh, this one doesn't give me a great deal of, a, of an opening, unfortunately. This, I remember, if I didn't land that hit, uh, I probably would have died. Uh, yeah, during this spin move, I like to just Echo Wave his feet, hoping for the Elemental Topple. His head isn't particularly uh, in good range there, so it's not really worth going for. Unless I'm completely mistaken, but... Uh, yeah, this was actually quite a good run, at least by my standards, so I panicked there. You can iframe that move really easily. I didn't really want to risk it. Um, and you can see I'm quite terrified of the of the fire breath. Yeah, I usually don't have to commentate for this long, so I'm kind of just repeating myself now at this point. I think you got the idea. I like to let these runs play the whole way through so you can make sure I'm not editing or anything. I like to try and splice out all the bad bits. I want you to see the good as well as the bad. Um, but uh, yeah, line up. Remember, it's elemental horn, yeah? So we're going to be playing, we're going to be using the spin move as much as possible. Um, and then whenever you don't have an opening long enough for the spin move, uh, obviously just do your, your slams or your backswings or your side swings. Uh, be sure to start using, I mean, you know how Echonops works if you're playing Hunting Horn. But uh, yeah, if its head is in the air, then do like a, a side swing, even if you're whiffing and hitting nothing. Do it just to get ready to use the Echonops when it comes down. Anyway, anyway, you get the idea there. That wasn't the best run in the world. 13 and a half minutes is not my proudest time, but uh, it's not particularly bad either. And for Hunting Horn, a weapon that I don't play very much, it's, uh, it's pretty decent. But uh, yeah, you can see the set I'm running here. You saw the Safi weapon and you can see all the armor. Uh, I will talk about these skills in just a second once I've done going through all of my stuff. So regarding the set itself, here it is. I, I flashed all of the armor pieces and stuff on screen a second ago. So uh, have a look at that. But uh, yeah, it's uh, fairly typical. Uh, noteworthy are the two points of Horn Maestro because obviously you don't really see those on other sets. Uh, also the fact that I'm running Protective Polish and uh, Item Prolonger for the sort of long uh, white sharpness. I could have maybe run sharpness on the weapon itself, but I wanted to keep space for element and attack. Uh, regarding the weapon, in fact, I should mention here, the nice thing about this particular weapon, uh, you take one slot for uh, uh, to get yourself the attack melody four, and then really it's just a case of balancing attack, sharpness, and element. Now, for me, I was running two attack and two element with the attack being the level six. You can change that. Uh, if you're struggling to reach the elemental threshold, even though you can see how easy it was here, 
uh, if you, for example, don't aren't as good at using the spin move, or you just don't find yourself doing enough elemental damage, um, then obviously just roll for element on your horn instead. In fact, the meta horn sets, I believe, run all element uh, as well as the attack song. Uh, and so on this set, what I was doing was I started off with all element and then try and push down my time. I took off two of my elements because I saw how easily I was getting the threshold with the max element and I replaced them with the attack awakenings. Uh, and so you can do something similar. Start off with all element and maybe if you need to, if you're struggling, if you're getting easily reaching the element threshold, but you're struggling to do enough DPS to actually kill it before the third Nova, then you could obviously swap out some element for attack or whatever you're more comfortable with. As far as affinity goes, you can see I've got two from crit eye and gonna, I'm going to have 5% uh, from attack boost. So that's 15. Uh, 30 from weakness exploit gets me to 45. Uh, on top of that, we have the agitator, which takes me to 55. And then the Safi set bonus, which takes us to 95. Uh, that plus the base affinity of uh, Safi's weapons gets me up to 100. And that's without tenderizing, only taking 30 from weakness exploit. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all there really is to say about the set. Uh, I do like running three points of health boost. It really helps you take advantage of the ice breath. But, uh, and just generally helps you survive. But uh, yeah, there's not really a huge deal to talk about here, to be honest with you. I think uh, this video has kind of uh, explained everything, uh, my entire thought process. So hopefully this helps any fledgling hornmates out there. I guess one other thing worth mentioning is if you are going uh, online in multiplayer, you might want to take a horn with the elemental buff for everybody rather than focusing on attack. Uh, again, it really depends on if your team comp is able to meet the elemental threshold easily. Because otherwise, if you are already meeting the elemental threshold, you don't really need more element. Uh, Alitreon's element hit zones are really shit and so really you're mostly interested in raw so yeah that's an option for you Alitreon's horn actually isn't that bad for this uh, purpose although I don't like the fact that it's got dragon on it um, so yeah you could just run a Safi horn with the elemental or whatever the uh, meta horns used to be but yeah I think that basically covers any everything um, let me know if you have any questions um, but uh, otherwise I wish you the best of luck with your hunts yeah good luck and happy doing take it easy Bye bye